there, this is Armkey Outdoors, and today I have a review of the GORUCK Civi Kit Duffel Bag. I will be using this bag on my trip here in a couple of weeks back to Ohio, um, flying out there and then driving back here. This is going to be my primary clothes and big item bag, and then I will be putting this above the seat of the airplane, and then I'll have uh, one of my many backpacks uh, as my other carry-on for underneath the seat. So this is just kind of to show you guys what a normal loadout for me in this bag would be. And not necessarily plane travel or traveling by car, just to kind of show you guys what all the pockets can handle, um, how, how big it is in person, and uh, the quality of it. So starting off, this is the GORUCK company here. You know their products are top tier, um, all handmade with the best materials. This right here is a 1000D Cordura, all YKK zips. It's a really, really well built duffel bag. Uh, a lot of duffel bags I see, especially people traveling, they're just you know the lower brand, um, and they just look like they're gonna they're gonna break at any time. And when you're traveling and you have you know pretty much your whole life in this bag for the next however many weeks or days or months or whatever, you want a good bag. And these actually aren't too expensive. I'm not sure if they're up on their site anymore um, or if they're still making them or what. But I got this I think for around a hundred dollars, which I mean you can. Most duffel bags are, are that price anyway, but this has all the, the really good materials and the GORUCK lifetime guarantee and the, the reputation that they uphold. So This comes in at 57 liters, which I think is uh, plenty for <clears throat> traveling for a couple weeks, getting plenty of my clothes in there and then my backpack with it, with all the kind of gadget stuff and my camera and computer and stuff like that in there. This bag does fit, um, and I think it's the maximum carry-on size, so that's another great thing about this bag is that you can load it out to the very top and, and you should still be able to take it on the plane with you and put it in that overhead compartment, which is what I'm going to be doing. So starting off on the front here you have um, a, a patch panel, so I have a GORUCK patch there. Um, I love seeing that, I love being able to represent, I normally put a RMK patch on there when I'm traveling. And then on either side here, as you can see, there are two large pockets. On this side, I have my green room journal, which when I'm traveling, I can keep you know my passport, my itinerary, stuff like that in this pocket. And it's pretty deep and pretty snug against the bag, so it'd be fairly hard for somebody to you know sneak this out of there without you knowing. You just gotta be heads up. Um, so that, that actually fits in there perfect, which I was afraid of, but it fits, so that's good. Um, these pockets can be used for anything on this side here, you guys can see I have my hydro flask in there. You know, if my backpack doesn't have water bottle holders, I can throw it in here. Or if you're just traveling with this, you can use that for that. Now, this strap, I believe, came with the bag. Um, it doesn't have a shoulder pad, which uh, I'm not going to be carrying this too long distance, so that's okay. And then on either side of the bag, you have smaller handles that are folded over to give you a little bit of grip there that you can carry like this or throw it over your shoulder to keep it higher up um, if you want to carry it that way. So that's really pretty much it on the outside. Uh, the two pockets, there's no zippered pockets on the front or anything like that, which I think is okay. Uh, a lot of times when I am traveling, even in the car, most of my little things um, that I don't want you know, losing are on the inside of the bag, and if not, they're in my backpack, which I can access easily. This is more for clothes, shoes, um, toiletry, stuff like that that I don't need little pockets on the outside except for these two, which they do a good job at. So moving on to the inside of the bag here, uh, as I said earlier, I just loaded this out for you guys to show you um, an example of what it can hold and uh, you know how, how full you can pack it. Uh, with that being said, I still have plenty of room. This, it's, a, it's a weird bag in the way that it looks full when I, when I had it like that, but it actually will keep going. Um, and extending up, which for a 57 liter bag, that's why it's not very long, but it's it's tall as well. It's almost a square when you have it fully loaded out. Um, as you guys heard, the good YKK zips there, they have this flap that flaps over. So you know the 1000D Cordura is very water repellent, so having that flap on top of the zipper will really help keep water out. Not waterproof, but really no bag is. Starting off here, there is on the front a kind of almost hidden pocket here. Um, and a reoccurring theme on the inside are the red zipper pulls, which I, I actually didn't even notice um, until recently. That's really nice because the, the bag is all black, so it's kind of hard to see the uh, internal zipper compartments, the mesh compartments, and having those really helps. It's actually how I found this pocket. I wasn't even aware um, 
that this had this. So this pocket is great. It's um, when you have it loaded up, it's at the very top of the bag. So anything you have in here is not going to get um, smushed or damaged or anything like that. So I'd like to keep, you know, it's a great spot for your cell phone if you don't want to keep it on your person or um, your keys and wallet. That's a great spot. It's not too large. Uh, I'd say five, four or five inches deep there. And then you have the city kit logo. So that top pocket is great. And we're going to move on to the, uh, the meat of the bag here. Uh, as I said, I have this loaded out just so you guys can see. I'm going to unpack it all so you guys can see exactly what I have in there real quick. So I have some flip flops. I have my uh, multivitamins. I have my first aid kit, uh, EDC kit. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six shirts, a couple pair of briefs there, uh, a pair of pants, a pair of shorts, very bottom where I like to keep uh, shoes or anything like that. They fit really well uh, on the very bottom. That's it for that side. As you guys can see, this tan inside here, the tan mesh is another um, pocket with the red zipper pulls to, to help you find it, even though it's tan, so you really probably don't need that. But um, pretty large uh, zippered compartment here, which on this side, um, as I said, if you're using just this, this would be a great spot to hold. Um, right now I have a portable charger, portable hard drive, and then a phone charger. So any little stuff like that that you don't need um, instant access to or you know quick access to, you can throw it in there. Uh, it'll stay nice and safe, packed up against all the rest of the stuff in the bag. We'll go ahead and unpack the rest of it here. Um, I like to travel with some kind of a jump rope or pull up band or something like that. So I have that in there and then a few other odds and ends in these bags and then my Kid Annika hoodie in here. Um, so that's that's really it. You have another zippered pocket, zippered mesh pocket on the side here. On either side you have those. Fairly large as stated earlier, which is good. You can um, you know really pack those up and, and know where you're smaller items that you want on the inside of the bag are at all times. One thing that I really, really like about this bag is its ability to literally you know, fold down to nothing. If I wanted to, I could put this in my, in my backpack and carry it with me. Um, it, 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 storage wise, I've had this in my room in just a little drawer. It's, it's great. There's no bottom padding, which I think is okay on a bag like this. I'm not gonna be putting my laptop or uh, anything else in there. If I am going to carry a, a camera or stuff like that, I'll put it in a Pelican case before I throw it in here. Um, so the, the inside is, is a nice nice lining here, the inside of the 1000D Cordura, and that's it for the inside of the bag, which again, I think is, uh, I think that's another strength of this pack, or this bag, is that there's not too much going on, and when, a, when I use a duffel bag, I don't need a ton of organization, I don't need different types of pouches and, and sleeves and stuff like that. That's what I carry my backpack for. If I want to carry my laptop, camera, um, GoPro, folders, documents, anything like that, that will all go in my backpack. Anything expensive, anything I want right on my body will be on the backpack. Clothes, shoes, toiletries, you know, anything like that is going to be in this bag and those don't need padding. I'd rather have a light um, but tough 1000D bag and some kind of bulky, not where I got it, it's got shoulder straps, you gotta tuck them in, zip them open, stuff like that. So really, it's just a nice, quick, easy duffel bag. I would I would highly suggest this bag if you like GORUCK products, if you like handmade in the US, um, very high quality, tough, lifetime guaranteed gear, this is gonna be the duffel bag to get. I have one other duffel bag that I use for traveling and that's my 120 liter Patagonia, which I love that bag as well. But for week trips or, or road trips where I'm not carrying too much stuff, this this is what I bring. Um, I love the all black discreet look. It's a simple bomb proof duffel bag and that's what Go Rock markets and, and this is really um, this is really what it is. All the zippers on these bags come with um, heat shrink, paracord tie-offs, which make them really easy to find. The main zipper is a huge, huge YKK zipper. Very, very easy bag to unzip, get into. I just love it. So I will be making a written review of this pack. Most of this stuff will be in there, but um, a few few other things might be switched around and I wanna give you guys uh, some in-use pictures and, and a written review for this. So I will be making that on my trip. So stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed this review, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. 
and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for some more gear reviews. Thank you.